Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take a moment to describe the unique history of what you are about to watch. In 1997, the leaders of Air Combat Command assembled a select group of retired military and civilian performers to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United States Air Force. From this gathering was born the Heritage Flight, a unique visual representation of Air Force history from the days of the Army Air Corps to the present. What started out as a one-time event has grown in popularity and demand, and now, Heritage Flights are performed at air shows and special events in the United States and around the world. Flying in formation today in a World War II era P-51 Mustang, Ray B.A. Anders, and a United States Air Force A-10 Thunderbolt II, piloted by Captain Lindsey Mad Johnson.
We would like to dedicate today's heritage flag to all military veterans in attendance whose sacrifices over the years have helped preserve America's freedom. We hope you enjoy watching this rare formation of classic and current United States Air Force aircraft on our journey from heritage to horizons. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Air Force Heritage Flight. We hope you've enjoyed watching and taking pride in this rare display of more than 70 years of air power heritage. Since 1947, American airmen have been breaking barriers in air, space, and cyberspace, resulting in a force that provides unparalleled global vigilance, reach, and power. And ladies and gentlemen, Captain Johnson and a flat pass to set up for the demo. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the United States Air Force and the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Mark Kelly, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command, we would like to welcome you one last time to the Boundary Bay Air Show. I am the A-10 Demo Team Superintendent, Master Sergeant Brian Sandoval from Santa Fe, New Mexico. With me, is our NCOIC Technical Sergeant Alan Brewer from Sacramento, California. Joining us is our Safety Observer and Combat Ready Attack Pilot, Captain Brendan Panchito Kraus from Lacey, Washington. As a member of Air Combat Command's 355th Wing, located at Davis Mountain Air Force Base in sunny Tucson, Arizona, it is my pleasure to describe for you a capability demonstration by the heavily feared and effective close air support aircraft, the A-10 Thunderbolt II. Our mission is to provide the close air support needed for our Army, Marine, Navy, and all Allied ground forces so they can operate anywhere, anytime. The A-10 demonstration pilot is Captain Lindsey Johnson, call sign MAD from Satellite Beach, Florida. Since commissioning through the United States Air Force Academy in 2014, Captain Johnson has become a veteran instructor pilot with over 1,150 hours in the A-10, including 87 combat missions, amassing 430 flight hours supporting Americans and coalition ground forces over the skies of Afghanistan. Because of its toughness, tenacity, and devastating good looks, the people that know it best, the pilots who fly it, and the service members who maintain it have all unofficially dubbed it the Warthog. Copy Warthog's inbound attack. There are over 288 tens still in service today, operated by Air Combat Command, Pacific Air Forces, the Air National Guard, and the Air Force Reserves. Ladies and gentlemen, look to your right. Here comes Captain Johnson and that beautiful A-10 Thunderbolt II. Captain Johnson is now positioning the A-10 for a pass down the show line. Will she will perform a double aileron roll. The Hog's ailerons make up almost half the size of its wings, enabling it unparalleled controllability at slower speeds. From the left, Captain Johnson and the mad roll. Captain Johnson is preparing to demonstrate a slow roll along the show line to display the hog's precise handling characteristics. 
As she rolls, you will notice a fake canopy painted on the belly of the aircraft. This false canopy is designed to fool enemy ground troops while concealing a 1,200-pound titanium arm barrier nicknamed the BAFTA, protecting the pilot from enemy ground fire. Now, from the right, the slow roll. Captain Johnson's now repositioned her aircraft to perform a level 360 degree high G turn. The Z 10s quick turn rate and small turn radius, which enable it to work effectively on the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. Johnson just completed that turn in only 1,400 feet. This is less than the size of an average NASCAR racetrack at well over twice the speed of any driver. On the battlefield, this capability enables a Warthog to turn quickly and evade enemy air defenses. Captain Johnson is now comparing her aircraft to demonstrate the A-10's slow speed controllability and its final approach speed of 120 knots. Get your cameras ready! This slow speed pass will give you a good chance to see the A-10's high bypass engines and unique tail design. These distinct features help mask the engine heat signature, aiding the pilot to defeat infrared missiles. Let's go to the cockpit of the A-10 to hear what Captain Johnson has to say. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Davis at Dallas TV. I want to say thank you guys so much for having us out here at the Boundary Bay Air Show. I want to also event that says everybody on the staff, thank you so much for taking such good care of us on the team and letting us open this up to the public for free. I wanted to give a special shout out to Captain Krause's dad, his stepmom, and his grandparents for coming out here from Washington. He's a Lacey, Washington native. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Also, happy birthday to Fred. Thank you for having us attack. Don't put those cameras down yet. The A-10 is the premier close air support aircraft supporting our ground forces engaged with the enemy. Listen now as we pass Captain Johnson, a close air support target brief known simply as the Nine Line. This will demonstrate the HOG's ability to find, target, and engage enemy forces with the A-10's weapon of choice, the ground-pounding Gal-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun. Firing 70 rounds per second, its huge projectile delivers seven times the destructive energy than the more conventional 20mm round. Hog 1, call ready 9 line. I'm sorry, send it. This will be a Type 1 bomb on target. 1, 2, 3, from your hold. Elevation, 5 feet. Enemy personnel in the open. Ed Show Center, no mark. Friendlies, north, 150 meters. Egress, back to your hold. Remarks, restrictions, east to west. With gun to reciprocal. Ready, read back. Show Center, east to west, with gun to reciprocal. Good, read back. Push one ready. Hog 1 is up and in from the east. Hog 1, continue. Hog one, cleared hot. Got it cleared hot. Good effect, good effect, good effect. Request immediate reattack, same remark, same restriction. Hog one, Captain Dobby, in from the less than 30 seconds. As you heard, it will take Captain Johnson about 20 seconds to get back into firing position. With two hogs working together, Enemy forces could be under A-10 fire once every 10 to 15 seconds.
Hog one, continue. Hog one, clear dot. Climbing up for her final attack, where she will simulate dropping 500 pound bombs. These general purpose bombs are useful for cratering airfields or destroying buildings, aiding versatility to the Hogs' arsenal of weapons. The A-10 has a well-earned reputation for strength and striking power. A reputation earned in multiple deployments, where hogs destroyed numerous enemy armored vehicles, artillery sites, scud missiles, and was even credited with two air-to-air -air kills. Today, the upgraded A-10C continues to set the standard for supporting allied forces in today's joint fight. Now, from the right, Captain Johnson, and one more four-point roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Johnson is now repositioning the A-10 for the dedication pass. We would like to remember our wounded warriors and veterans in attendance today. Finally, remembering those who have given their lives defending both of our great nations. This will be your best photo opportunity, so have your cameras ready to capture this proud salute. Ladies and gentlemen, from behind to your right, A-10 Demo proudly presents the Dedication Pass. Once again, we salute all those fighting in today's joint fight and any wounded warriors and veterans in attendance today. We especially want to thank those who have given their lives in defense of both of these great countries and all of their families who have sacrificed so much. The United States Air Force's Air Combat Command provides essential combat air support capability for today's joint fight. The A-10 has consistently demonstrated its ability to fly more than four sorties per day, a tribute to the skill and dedication of our magnificent maintenance crew. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand to our outstanding maintainers and all those service members keeping all of our aircraft fit to fight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this brief display of only a fraction of the A-10's full combat capability. Our phenomenal maintenance team assisting in today's demonstration is Staff Sergeant Cody Polzin from Northfield, Minnesota. Staff Sergeant Tristan Sawyers from Merced, California. Senior Airman Colin McCoy from York, Pennsylvania. Senior Airman Cameron Bowens from Columbia, South Carolina. And joining us for public affairs is Staff Sergeant Nicholas Ross from Niceville, Florida. As an integral part of the most capable Air Force the world has ever known, your A-10 Warthogs are ready to defend our nation's skies and dominate the battle space anywhere on the globe. Ready to aim high, fly, fight, and win. Don't forget to tag and follow us using at A10 Demo Team on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your hospitality and spending your Saturday with us. Attack demo, out. Please put your hands together again for the hundreds of volunteers.